So this weekend we are staying at a Hanuk house. How do you pronounce it? Hanuk. Hanuk. Which, side which is an old uh, fashioned oh. Korean home. This is our little garden area here. Um, this particular one we're staying in is a hundred years old. And then you walk in. That is how they eat. They ate dinner. This little squatty table. And then we've got two bedrooms, which will have the traditional sleeping of, you know, a mat on the ground. Um, each bedroom has a bathroom, which clearly is not original. Thank goodness. <laughs> Oh, there is shampoo and stuff in the bathroom. Okay. And here's the second bedroom with these dividing doors. Second bedroom. Super cute and quaint. So we're at a Hanok village, which has like apparently over a thousand of these little houses. Some of them have been converted into stores. Um, and shopping a little bit of kitchen here but they stopped for us with coffee and there's eggs and bread and ham and stuff the ceilings are super short um, and then there is another way out to our garden it's only the girls this weekend and now we're going to go find um, some place to eat, but very cute, traditional. So we're heading out to find some food. So this is the little road that we're off of. This is the one that we're staying on. That was a little tour bus that came by. Hanok Homestay. So this is our place. It's very hilly. Um, but it's just a village of all these cool, traditional um, Hanok homes. Very cool. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but there's like a tour bus kind of thing. Oh, actually. I think that's somebody who's running for office. <laughs> so now we're going to see if we can find dinner. It's very hilly here, like seriously hilly, but super cool. There's another guest house. So people own these things and um, rent them out kind of like an Airbnb kind of thing. First stop is dinner. About two minutes away was this Korean barbecue place. Cute. Oh, we can sit on the floor over there. Good morning. So I just ate a little bit of breakfast. I just had some toast and coffee. And I'm at my little table on the floor. I mean, it is a small table. Like, that's my hand. And back a long time ago, this is where they would eat. I gotta tell you, the bed was not comfortable. It's not really a bed. I'll show that to you in a minute, but Jordan's in there taking a shower and getting changed. Like my hip bones hurt. <laughs> I don't know how they did this. And I feel like I take up a whole side. I mean, I guess in Asian countries in general, they never had a ton of kids. Like, there's no way our family of five would fit around this little guy. Um, anyway, that's it. So I wanted to show you all the bathroom because this is very, very typical. Um, uh, usually there is no like separated shower stall. So you'll see this is um, a little bathroom and here's the shower head. So you stand here to take your shower and what's really weird is you have a mirror here <laughs> a mirror here while you take your shower 
So everything in the bathroom gets wet. Um, and this is the shower towel. This is the towel you use to dry off this size of towel. It is seriously the only towel size that they have. And that's pretty normal. Our American size shower towels are not a normal, oops, sorry, a normal thing here. And I'm too tall for the mirror. Everything's tiny here. Here's the top of the door. Um, I'm touching the ceiling. So there's the mirror. I have to come down like this. Otherwise, I'm too tall. <laughs> there, I can angle the camera so you can see. But these are towels you dry off with, teeny tiny. In America, we'd call this a hand towel. And everything in your bathroom will get wet because the bathroom serves as your shower stall. Right. We are at a cute little place for coffee and brunch. It's also in an old Hanup house. And here is the menu. <laughs> That's so great. Okay, Ella, tell us what's on the menu. So kind of funny about the place we just ate. It's called Hanak Coffee and Brunch. However, their menu, which was on the fan that you saw, has only one coffee and it's called Today's Coffee and one food item, a waffle. Everything else on the menu is tea or juice, but their place is called Hanak coffee and brunch. We are now at Changdeokgong Palace. Oh, that's big over there. So we're going to walk around here and apparently there's a good section of um, cherry blossoms. So this is the part of the palace that is the um, king's residence and there's Ella. So this is the king's residence. It's gigantic. Uh -huh. So we are coming up on the king's residence. Just for a bedroom. I'm pretty sure this is more I think this is like his throne room where he yeah, did yeah. work. Yeah. You know? And he would sit in this really big throne. This is a wide bench. It's so intricate. All these palaces kind of look similar. We're on the other side of, oh, that's something. I wanna go see what's in that. There's a lot of people out today. Okay, so this is Song Jong Jong and they say this is the King's Council Hall, I guess, where he did work. So he sat on the ground, basically. <laughs> Ella, do not enter. So this is a second palace that is right next door to the other palace, but it's all made and decorated the exact same way. There's something called Secret Garden that's supposed to be here. Oh, I think this was, this used to hold water, I think. Yes, because that right there would have the water and it would pour into this.
These must be little rooms. Wonder what that is for. Interesting. One thing about all these palaces, they have a ton of land. Like really big wide open spaces in between every tiny building. So everywhere you turn, you will find people taking pictures and posing for little Instagram things. Uh, <laughs> so glad I caught that. <laughs> like everywhere, people bring tripods to set up pictures. Okay, so this is the bed chamber of the wife of the deceased king and the bedchamber of the current king. Ah, so one of these buildings is where the king that died, his wife, if she's still alive, she stays. The other place is the current king's bed. That's interesting. Hmm. You should try and read the Chinese. So this is like another council hall of this palace. And again, it's like, Kind of same setup and same design. A big wide bench, short to the ground up there. And um, same kind of design and open space. <laughs> I don't know what he's saying. Okay, that's my life. I don't know what anybody says around here. A gigantic cherry blossom tree, like gigantic, and then there's one over here that's really tall. We're still at the second palace, and there's this, this big outdoor area with lots of trees. For lunch, we're having ramen, and it's apparently a famous ramen place, it has been on TV. So we've been here before. We went here with Miss Hadley. Oh, yeah. I knew I recognized it right as we... We have been here and they handmade all the dumplings and stuff. Oh. So we found an artist, a street artist, who is um, drawing this corner. It's pretty cool. So, we are out tonight finding geocaches. And one of them took us back to the front of one of these palaces. It's very pretty at night. Nobody's out and about here at night. And the weather is perfect. So now we're heading back to our hanuk. We have found 101 geocaches now. Ella finally found her first geocache. Woo! So I wanted to show you guys what we sleep on here. And this is traditional Korean sleeping. It's not like a bed bed. It's basically a mat um, and then another mat and that's it on the floor with a blanket. I will tell you something. Maybe if I were a kid, I could handle this. But when I sleep on this, I feel like I'm 90 years old. My hip bones hurt because this is not thick. I mean, that's just me pushing on it. Um, so you're basically on the ground with a tiny bit of padding. And so I sleep on my side. So my hip bones are basically feeling the pressure of the floor the whole night. <laughs> and I try to move and it wakes me up to try to get in a more comfortable position and um yeah so so we're heading home today we've slept on this for two nights and that's about all i can do <laughs> and then whenever i get up i feel like i'm 90 nothing against 90 year olds but i'm i'm guessing that's what i'm gonna feel like at 90. 